So let's really quick, we're going to go to contact types and we're going to insert some records. Um, as we did in the contacts table, we'll leave the type ID or the primary key empty so it can auto increment. And we'll call this type friends. And we'll come down here, leave the type ID empty, and we'll call this one clients. And we'll say go. And that was successful. So we'll say browse, and now we can see our two types. Um, and we'll just kind of make a mental note that uh, friends are type 1 and clients are type 2. So let's come back over to contacts. And I'm going to add uh, several records really quick. And I'm going to pause the video while I do it just to save time. All right, now you can see I've added a bunch of records here and I've randomly given them uh, type IDs. Um, and uh, they're ones and twos, so they're either friends or clients. All right, now we're going to start getting into some um, searches here. And the first time we're gonna search, we're going to use the search tab here. And then after that, we're gonna start looking at some SQL. So, what we want to do is we want to find um, all of our contacts that uh, are friends. So friends have the ID, the type ID number of one, and that's all we really need. Um, so we can go ahead and say go, and it's going to return only our contacts, which are friends. Um, so that's a very simple ser uh, select query is what that's called. Um, and what a select query does is uh, pretty much retrieves certain records based on the criteria you give it. All right, now we're going to get away from using this search panel um, and start typing our own SQL. So if we want to run a query on this table, um, the nice thing that uh, PHP my admin will do is automatically type in a very generic query. Let's go ahead and strip that out of here. We're going to do the same query we just did in the search um, tab, only we're going to do it by typing out the actual uh, SQL. So first we're going to choose what type of query we're going to run. And there's a handful of different types. Um, off the top of my head, there's select, insert, update, delete, create. Um, in this sense, uh, situation, we're going to use select because we want to retrieve documents. And when typing um, SQL commands like select, we do this in all capitals so that uh, SQL knows that this is a command and not something else. So select. And what we're going to do for this one is we're going to do a blanket select, which we're going to use a wildcard um, and as I mentioned before, um, we're going to use the asterisk, which is pretty standard for all or wildcard. So select all, and then the from command. And now we need to type in the table. One thing about this SQL window is that even though we accessed it from the contact table view, um, we can really do whatever we want in here. It doesn't have to be limited to the context table. However, we are actually running a query on the context table, so in this sense it applies. So contacts, which should be in all lowercase, um, and sometimes uh, to be a little more strict with the uh, standards, you would want to put this in, uh, in this type of quote here. Uh, I'm going to ignore that for now. So if we just run this right here, this simple query, we say go, it's going to return every row. Because we said select all, which means select all fields from contacts and return them. And so we didn't give it any parameters or anything like that to check against. So we ended up with all the records. So let's go back to the uh, SQL, and 
we'll take that simple query we just wrote and we're going to add another command which is where which this becomes a conditional um, if you have watched any of my PHP tutorials um, or are familiar with PHP or any other real programming language you should be familiar with conditionals uh, many times uh, the most commonly known uh, conditional would be the if condition uh, where you'd say if this then do this um, in this case we're using where and where means um, select all from contacts where something is something so we're going to say where the type ID field is equal to one so this should uh, return the same result that we had when we uh, ran that search uh, a couple minutes ago um, so it's gonna select all the rows or all the columns um, from the context database where the type ID is equal to one Let's say go and there you have it um, now let's go back to the SQL window and we're going to write that same query um, except this time we're going to remove the asterisks um, because this time we're not going to return all the rows or excuse me all the columns it's still going to return every row that uh, matches our criteria here with the type ID 1 but now we're only going to return certain columns or certain uh, information so maybe we just want to know the first and last name of all of our um, friends. So instead of the asterisk, we're going to type in the field names we'd like. Um, and the way we do this is select the field name and if we're going to do more than one, we're going to put a comma and then the next field name. So let's go ahead and run this query. And there you go. It returned all of our friends, but it just returned their first and last name. And um, from this portion on in the lessons, uh, there's a good chance that my lessons have gone over the YouTube uh, time limit. So I apologize if I have to cut them off short. Um, they will continue on directly into the next lesson. Um, 